Mr. Parker here to review one from MAD. This is Planet of the Vampire Women. Uh, I don't know if you see the case there. But anyways, uh, I popped this in, and at first I was thinking, uh, I'm not really sure I'm going to feel about this. They had this really uh, uh, kind of like video game-esque CGI in there that was like 90s video game style, and I was thinking, oh, I do not like how that looks. But But as the film progressed, I found myself enjoying it more and more and more. Basically, it's about a group of space pirates who rob this casino and uh, end up running away. A cop chases them. They crash land on the planet. The planet is inhabited by this weird electricity and these weird insect monster things. And uh, the electricity turns into somebody into a vampire and pretty much it spreads throughout. And the vampires end up escaping and there's a big uh, battle at the very end. Which is a lot of fun, but uh, in the very, I'm gonna say that this is definitely hokey as hell, cheesy as hell, and especially hokey. Uh, there, the the props in there are really cheesy. The CGI is, uh, if you get over the CGI, I think you will thoroughly enjoy this movie. Uh, it's kind of forgivable in this sense that it's a throwback to like the sci-fi kind of movies, and you know the 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 CGI is dated as in the props were dated in those movies. But uh, it definitely has that uh, science fiction feel. Maybe a, a really goofy Galaxy of Terror or something like that. And a lot of people consider Galaxy of Terror goofy already. So there you go what you get into it. Uh, the, the group of uh, space pirates is... Uh, it's a mixture. There's one really cool character that has a cool idea. She's a pleasure uh, clone, and she's actually a stripper who's on the inside of the casino. And she can basically transfer any suit she wants. She'll be like, oh, what about this? Is this sexy? And she'll keep doing it throughout the movie for what it fits into. And that's really cool. There's... A cyborg as well, uh, somebody who can fly ships. You know, you get a smorgasbord of characters and whatnot. Uh, there's some good, uh, decent gore effects in here, surprisingly, as well. Like I said, there's cheesy monster props that are a lot of fun. Uh, there's bad CGI that's like 90 CGI that's like dated, but I don't know, it kind of works in this movie for some reason. And then there is, uh, of course, there's gore effects. And uh, to top that off, this movie has the abundance of boobage. There is boobs at the beginning and boobs throughout and boobs at the very end. I mean, there is a casino strip joint place. And the massacre in there is loads of fun. <laughs> Throughout the film, at first I was thinking, I don't really care about these characters. But at the end of the movie, you're kind of rooting for certain characters to survive. And uh, the ending's kind of cool. Uh, maybe a little bit mean-spirited for how goofy this movie is. Uh, 
it's a very enjoyable, fun ride, sci-fi hokiness that is uh, kind of like a movie of the past, but still with uh, the movie of nowadays with all, uh, obviously the blood and uh, boobs and whatnot. But I think a lot of people will, uh, if you can get past, like I said, uh, the some of the stuff, uh, they do use uh, sets and stuff like that as well. And uh, the casino set's pretty cool. And uh, some of the uh, other sets are actually cool as well. The backgrounds are CGI. And uh, I just, I, I enjoy the idea that I didn't think I was going to get a big massacre scene at the end, and I was really happy for that. And uh, the film is just extravagant for how low budget it really is. I mean, the budget constraints, there is budget constraints, you can tell with the computer effects and things like that, but they did something big and they weren't afraid to do it and it is much bigger than, you know, most movies at this level would even have a right to be or try to be and it, it, it succeeds in being a, a you know, a, a fun, uh, kind of like low budget epic of cheesy, goofy, sci-fi, bloody gory fun. But uh, that is Planet of the Vampire Women. Uh, I don't think the DVD has any features, but if this sounds like it's up your alley and you like, like, you know, bad sci-fi movies that are fun and they know, then check it out. Uh, I know this is going to be from everyone. I think the clips will do you justice if you want to see or not. I, I enjoyed it, and I was surprised I enjoyed it. But thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.